good morning i hope you all are doing fine today we will begin with how to how we can log in in digital campus with uh, with the given parent id which is mentioned in your p card and in the students batch also you can act, you can enter the parent id in uh, the login id space and the password which was which is given to you for to do this you will have to first uh, go to the page ihis.ethdigitalcampus.com slash ihis slash i'll give this link in description you can access through that link now just for example i will enter its parent id and the password with it then we'll click on sign in to open the page here you can see all the details of the student the name of the parent the student name how much siblings if if there are any siblings means if your ward is having any brother or sister in the same parent id if you are having two to three wards four wards uh, in one uh, in in the, in the school they all can be accessed through the same parent id you don't need to have different parent ids for different students so one with one parent id it is possible to access for all your wards bottom here is the circular page when you click here you can see all the circulars which have been uploaded up until now and uh, later when circulars will be published all all uh, circulars will be visible here then we can click on the student's name by coming here or waiting for the page to change then click on the student's name it will open the page where you can get all the details of the student the specific student for example the student profile in which class the student is his admission date everything okay then when you you can you click on the report card page you will get all the report cards of the student in which class of all the classes from when he got admission up until now all the report cards of first terminal exam second terminal exam of the final exams all the terms can be found here then later when you will click on the teachers list you will get all the you will get the name of the class teacher the teachers which are teaching the specific subject in his class his or her class you can get all the names of the teachers from here which can be accessed from here and then when you move down you can get all the fee details of the students how much fee is pending for that particular term you can get all the details from here or you can click here on due due fees report to get all the details then later moving on we'll click here on lms model to access our learning management system just by clicking on that your learning management system page will open where you can where all your subjects in which you are assigned to for the for your specific class all will be visible here when you will come here first, first we will see how can we join the zoom classes from the lm from lms so when you will click on for example we will go for english here when you will click on english it will open the page of english subject okay you can see here english zoom class here uh, we have created the groups for students each student is assigned to a group okay uh, so if your ward is assigned in one group they cannot access the other group that's why it will be shown as restricted that they cannot access the other group in which they, they can access that group will be open for them so the, what the student will have to do is just click on this link okay then a page will open where it will, it will ask for the student to join meeting please check the timetable at what time your classes are given and join according to that and when you click on join meeting automatically the page will re redirect you to the zoom meeting and then the zoom meeting will start now since the class is not going on it will show me that please wait for the host to start the meeting when the teacher starts the meeting you can you can the class will start automatically moving on now we will see how we can upload uh, how we can upload assignments here in lms for example here we will go for april month worksheet when you will go on april month worksheet okay when you will go for submitting the assignment 
it will it will be something like this now here since it is the timing is not allotted you can click to download the assignment question file from here and to add for submission you can click on add submission okay and click you can click here to add the file and then choose the file by clicking on choose file option it will show you it will open the list of files which are available in your in your pc you can select the file which you want to upload and then click on open for example we we'll click here we we'll click on open this file will be uploaded then you can click on upload file so that the file will be submitted then you can click on save changes and close it now since i did not upload the file it is showing nothing has submitted when you will upload it will be shown as the file has been submitted similarly you can access the notes you can download the notes this is the holiday homework similarly you can similarly all other notes also can be used in such a way similarly uh, you can attempt quizzes or assignments assessments tests from lms and when you click on that test the icon for the test will be like this like a tick on on a plain paper you can click on the test link and the link will be open it will be uh, it will be it will be shown here so that you can attempt attempt the quiz you can you will click on that you will click on attempt button and then you can attempt the quiz i hope everything is clear if you have any qu queries you can uh, contact me on ihis itc at gmail dot com. I'll hopefully I'll answer all your queries. Thank you.